Hello, this video shows the basic operation of the Pentagon Technologies Q3 Max surface particle detector. The first step is plugging in the Q3 Max. The Q3 also comes with two hot swappable batteries. However, for this demo, we are running off of AC power. For this demo, we are on a ISO Class 4 clean room workstation built by Pentagon Technologies. This environment has ALPA filtration, so the air is very clean. The boot up takes about one minute, so please do not touch the system while the system comes ready. The Q3 is the standard for particle detection on critical surfaces. The Q3 Max detects particles down to 0.3 microns or 300 nanometers. This demo is an overview, however, to get detailed information, please refer to the manual. In this demo, we will show how to purge the system and make a few basic measurements. The system is initializing. Let's get ready to make a measurement. The system comes up in fast pass mode. However, to see all six channels, let's go to expanded mode and log in as owner with a default password of O. After logging in, you are in the setting page, and it is essential that you apply the correct settings before making measurements. You can notice how you can toggle between different settings by touching the buttons. Now we are on the sample page and we are going to purge the probe to ensure that the probe and system do not contribute any counts to our test results. The purge process measures the air above our part and continues to run until it gets five successive zero counts. Notice how the probe is held close to the clean air coming from the ALPA filters. The purge process should take 40 seconds to a minute if the environment is clean, such as ISO class 5 or better. Notice how the screen shows purging complete. This means that the system is ready to begin testing. Before testing, you can enter information about what you're going to test. In this case, we entered the part name, the date, and 12 for the 12 o'clock position on the part. You can also attach a barcode reader to the Q3 to enter serial numbers into these fields. To make measurements, place the half-inch probe head flat on the surface while holding the tube back 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Avoid tilting the probe on the surface. Start the test by holding the probe flat on the surface and pressing the red button located on the handle one time. This will start the air vacuum and detection. The test takes six seconds. The results show that 93.32 particles greater than 0.3 microns per centimeter were detected in six seconds. Now we are going to measure the surface particles on a blank aluminum plate that has already been wiped with a wiper and IPA. The results show that the particle density is 9 particles per centimeter squared greater than 0.3 microns, measured in 6 seconds. Notice how the screen also shows the settings. We are wiping the plate one more time to further reduce the particle density. It is common that surfaces need to be wiped several times to achieve the lowest particle density. In this case, we used a folded polyester lint free wipe and a lab grade isopropyl alcohol. Once again we place the probe on the surface and press the red button.
After the second wipe, the results show 1.25 particles greater than 0.3 micron per centimeter squared were detected in six seconds. Now we are measuring a rough surface. It is very difficult to detect particles with the human eye on a rough surface. However, the Q3 can quickly make these measurements. The results show the surface is contaminated with 3,201 particles greater than 0.3 micron per centimeter squared. Because this plate is so contaminated and rough, it can't be wiped with the wiper and IPA, and we are cleaning it using nitrogen to blow off the surface. Nitrogen or clean dry air is quite effective in removing particles lightly adhered to the surface. After the blow off, we are placing the probe flat on the surface and making a second measurement. You'll notice from the results that the surface contamination has significantly reduced down to 12.41 greater than 0.3 micron particles per centimeter squared in six seconds. Let's try one more measurement on the surface in a new location. In the new location after the six second test, you'll notice that it also has a reduced particle count down to 39.07 greater than 0.3 micron particles per centimeter squared. You can methodically locate particle contamination sources with the Q3. The Q3 is the standard in the world for particle detection on critical surfaces. For all of your particle control needs, please contact Pentagon Technologies at www.pen-tech.com. Thank you very much.